Hi, I'm Mohammed Rifai Chaudhary. I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm a member of the CILT Bangladesh Council. I'm the managing director and co-founder of Weaver Innovations Limited. It's a technology company that creates uh, impactful solutions for the customers and the country through technologies like IoT, uh, machine learning, etc. In 2017, my friend Ahmed uh, Tanzil Ruhullah, he came to me and he said about CILT to me. At the time, he was one, a member of the Young Professionals Forum. So he told me everything about CILT. And once I went through the CILT, uh, the organization, and I got to know about this organization, I found out that it's very relevant to me because at that time, I was working on a technology called the Digital Voice Alert System for Level Crossing, which was uh, related to the transportation sector. So I thought it's a marvelous opportunity for me to go and connect with people uh, in this sector and to know more about this sector and so that I can leverage and I can learn and I can take my technology and my aspect big, uh, to a bigger place. So I joined CILT at the time in 2017, in the beginning of 2017. And when I joined to, in, in 2017, I found out that uh, this is a platform that can help us, like young people who are working in the uh, supply chain and logistics sector, uh, may, maybe as an entrepreneur, maybe as a professional, uh, this platform can help help us greatly to elevate our work and uh, use this platform to meet new people in, in specialized sectors and gain more knowledge so that we can form uh, more value for the society and our companies. The primary reason why a professional will be interested in being a member of CILT is gaining knowledge and meeting new people. So I, I had the same reasons when I got into uh, the CILT. I found out there are uh, many important uh, aspects that we didn't think we could get, uh, which we got through CILT. Some of them are obviously meeting new people. Uh, here the most interesting part is we got to meet people from so many diverse sectors like the 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 air sector, the the marine sector, uh, the tr the transport sector, the road sector, uh, meeting people from private private industries to public industries, meeting uh, policy makers, and it's such a beautiful platform with uh, a heterogeneous crowd where you can uh, bounce back your ideas and your hurdles so that you can get support from people and and create uh, great stuff and. Uh, another big advantage of being in CILT is, uh, I would say it's, it's one of the major, major benefit of being in CILT is you uh, get to uh, increase your knowledge in this, in this sector. It has, it has a knowledge center which uh, has the, the best journals in this sector which you can get uh, access to in a, in a split second and in, in this modern day it's, it's very important where we can go and see through the, the journals and gather knowledge. Uh, and another benefit I would say is uh, for us like young entrepreneurs who are, who are trying to create something in the supply chain sector, we uh, can connect a lot of dots through people and platforms and policy makers to expedite our innovations or businesses and take them to the commercial level uh, through, through, the, through the platform of CILT. Uh, for my, if in my case, what happened was I have applied for the uh, Young uh, on, uh, Achievers Award uh, in the Macau Convention in 2017, uh, the annual convention of CILT in Macau, and uh, I had been nominated by Bangladesh uh, Council. And once we went there, in, in the final, we received the second position, and it was uh, it was amazing for me because uh, I was judged by some of the experts in the in this sector in the whole country in the whole world so uh, they have uh, gave us words of wisdom and words of encouragement which made us even stronger and also i met some of the some of the very interesting and best people in this sector i came back and i could connect with them and and we could take this forward to to, to do uh, more interesting stuffs together uh, another big advantage is giving back uh, CILT allows us to uh, get as well as give back. Uh, although we are young and there are a lot of senior members who, uh, who give us a lot of uh, value in terms of wisdom, knowledge, experiences and uh, policy support, 
uh, we have an opportunity to give back as well because there are a lot of young guys who are coming through uh, as affiliates or young members of the forum and they, they are striving to learn every day and they, they, we see it for lean sessions, we see it for experience sharing sessions, then we have field trips together to, to visit a lot of important places and this is a beautiful opportunity to, to give back to these people who are coming and some of them are even doing better than us. There are a lot of interesting projects that are being worked on by some of the brightest minds of this country and CLT gives us a beautiful, beautiful uh, platform to, to do that. And uh, interestingly in Bangladesh, uh, a lot of innovations are being taking place uh, in the supply chain sector to decrease the road congestion, to come up with alternative transportation uh, supports, logistics. So, so uh, a lot of innovation is being done on the delivery sector, that, which is also in the transportation sector. So a lot of young people are working in this sector, bright minds and young people. So, so CLT is a beautiful place to bring all these minds together and give back and get and create value. Interestingly, CILT uh, gave me a boost in my pursuit of innovation in the transportation sector. When uh, we started this journey for digital voice alert system for level crossing, which is essentially uh, an automated alert system for the rail, rail level crossings to save lives. So uh, when we started with that, it was a dream project, but we did not have uh, international recognition or validation. So we were following our hearts and we created this prototype. And when we went to the, the Macau convention, uh, the annual convention in Macau, they, the words that they gave us, uh, the, the support that they gave us, made us feel that what we were working on is a realistic goal for emerging markets like Bangladesh and even other markets as well. So the convention in Macau, it, uh, it gave us a huge boost in our pursuit of digital voice alert system for level crossing. And it validated that our idea was uh, rational, relevant and important. So once we came back, we sat with the ministries and they have, they have encouraged the fact that we have been uh, supported by CILT and, and, and this has given us a boost in our, our uh, innovation. And most interestingly, once we uh, started digging down uh, the supply chain sector and logistics sector in Bangladesh, we found out that there are so many problems in the transportation sector and logistics sector that requires innovation and, and, and conversion of uh, innovation and, and converting them into commercially successful projects. Uh, recently, we have been working on a, we have been working on a project called Shuttle, uh, a company that uh, provides micro uh, micro transit for women in Bangladesh. This nag for transportation sector and uh, and development in the transportation sector has been boosted by by being affiliated, being 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 close to CILT. And I would thank CILT for that to to let me be in that platform, be with people who are really really innovative and creative in this sector, and to be up to date with the problems in the society so that we can go back, think and come up with ideas to solve these problems. I also thank CLT because it, it gave us this platform to showcase our innovations to the world. I believe uh, Bangladesh has enormous potential in the transportation, logistics and supply chain sector because uh, very little has been done, although this has this has been a key sector for Bangladesh. As, as you might uh, know that Bangladesh uh, exports a lot of products like RMG and, and there are a lot of sectors uh, like the shipping sector which is booming. So I believe Bangladesh has huge potential in this sector but a lot of work has to be done. So I think CILT can play a major major role here. I have uh, two projects which are in the, in, the, in the transportation and supply chain sector and I believe there are a lot of people who have a lot of others, other projects like that. CILT can elevate us, help us in making these these projects into big success in the country one and secondly CLT can help us be part of the policy making so that uh, we can create policies or be at least part of the policy making procedure to ensure that Bangladesh has has great policies to support the upcoming innovation driven enterprises and also the country's uh, structural changes to adapt to this growing growing need for demand for uh, international level transportation and supply chain sector. 
I would say uh, uh, for someone who is just starting his journey with CLT, I would say don't expect to get, plan to give. The first thing you can give is time. Time is your biggest resource. So give time to CLT, then try to see if, if you can give more quality time to CLT so that you can learn from the elders. You can uh, make yourself available for the training, for the affiliations, for the lean sessions, for the field visits. And you will, within, within a few months, you will see the returns are coming in big numbers. And you will see that uh, CLT cannot give you a reward. CLT can be a platform through which you can get your rewards the rewards that you deserve or desire. So uh, I would say give and be part of this platform and you will get your rewards in turn. I am CILT.